Meantime, a voting session in the state house was canceled after representative tested positive for COVID-19. This after he was at the Capitol on Tuesday. Our Evan Henkley investigated how many other state lawmakers and staffers could be impacted. Uh, he joins us now live. Evan. Yeah, good evening, Amanda Matt. Republican Representative Paul Schemmel had tested positive for COVID-19 today, and that's what caused today's voting session to be canceled. Now begins the work of contact tracing. Anyone who was around Schemmel will need to self-quarantine for 14 days. Two days ago, again, Schemmel was up at the state capitol, which means many lawmakers will have to self-quarantine as part of this process. Some say this means it's slowing down the legislative process, but others say this is a hurdle that they can jump. A PA House voting session that was supposed to go a full day Thursday only lasted eight minutes. It was cut short after Republican Paul Schemmel, representing Franklin County, tested positive for COVID-19. The State House of Pennsylvania can no longer do the people's business because one of my colleagues who refused to wear a mask has now tested positive for COVID-19 and was in this capital earlier in the week. Representative Scott Conklin from Center County says this slows up the House on voting on important issues. The State House's next session is scheduled for October 19th. Because of this business that we must get done before the year's out, cannot be done now for another two weeks. But House Majority Leader Kerry Benninghoff, also from Center County, disagrees. We have the ability to adapt and we work around it. By us creating the remote uh, voting system it allows our members to do that. Conklin, though, says if the House had to make an important decision, it couldn't be made properly virtually. So many other things have to be involved in it that it makes it very difficult. It, again, when a bill comes up, you have debate, you have people talking, inquiries. None of that is able to be done in a fluid manner. There has to be people in person. You could not have a structured environment without the interaction between the legislatures one-on-one. -on -one. While the legislative process is important, what we do is important, uh, people's safety and their health is paramount. And so we took action as part of our protocol. House Democrats continue to push for a rule requiring masks to be worn on the House floor. Right now, State House employees are required to wear masks, but not lawmakers themselves. Rep Schemmel claims he was wearing masks inside Capitol public spaces, but Conklin says Schemmel, along with most Republicans, had no mask on when on the House floor. Many of my colleagues say as much as 80 to 90 percent without masks. But Leader Benninghoff disagreed. Most members do that. There are some on both sides of the aisle that may get sloppy once in a while and have them down around their neck after they've taken them down to speak. Benninghoff also says that Rep. Schemmel was known to wear a mask. Representative Schemmel, who was here on Tuesday and in a committee meeting, did have a mask on. We then asked Benninghoff if Schemmel wore a mask on the House floor. I don't remember seeing him on the House floor, but I do remember seeing a video of the committee meeting, I believe, and he was wearing it there. Now, this is not the first time that a state rep has tested positive for the coronavirus. Back in May, Representative Andrew Lewis from Dolphin County, he also tested positive for the virus at that time. We're told he has since recovered. Reporting live here in Center County, Evan Hinckley, WTAJ News.